Is that what? It's astrosthetics. Let's get it, baby. Jupiter and Gemini. I hope y'all ready because this is about to be so lit. Let's go. So look, coming off of that legendary total solar eclipse, we in the middle of an election year. We don't even know if there's going to be an election this year. We're going to get into that. But before we do, we got to get to Jupiter and Gemini, the big jovial bright guy in the sky. Jupiter's going to be going into Gemini May 25th, 2024. Now, Jupiter, it typically stays in the sun for 11 to 13 months, depending on its angle with the bright luminary, the sun. Jupiter typically stays in the sun for 12 months, and Gemini is a sign of communication, exactly. information, data, and speaking. And astrosthetics shows us that Gemini is also about ideas. And in astrosthetics, we look at Gemini as a sign of information mainly all right now jupiter and gemini astrostatics we call jupiter the big attractor and we also call jupiter the expansion particle this is because jupiter will stretch you're gonna hear everyone say that jupiter expands and astrostatics we say that jupiter stretches because it can also deal with elongation disillusionment and positive distortion Jupiter can also represent the success factor. One's point of abundance. How are you going to tap into higher learning faculties? Because Jupiter governs higher learning and cross-cultural transmission. Astrosthetics shows us that. Jupiter can also rule liquids and the passage of them, the hips and the thighs. Astrosthetics shows us that Jupiter governs short distance travel. When you think about short distance travel, I hope you don't think about planes. Okay, we're talking cars, automobiles, mechanics, engines, traveling on roads, bridges, suspension, mathematics, conductors, processing skills, even aspects of computers. Y'all remember, Gemini is information. Now, once again, in astrosthetics, we look at Jupiter as the jovial bright one. Jupiter is the biggest planet, right? And sometimes the brightest, right? Between Venus and Jupiter. And we also know that Jupiter rules Sagittarius and Pisces. And make sure y'all check out our previous videos. And we're going to build more on that in this. But Jupiter and Gemini will benefit the social dynamic. This is going to be a hot year for media and for the social atmosphere. Now, let's get into some quick brief facts before we go into Jupiter astrosthetic style. You got to know that you're going to be aspected by this differently. I don't care if you are Aries and Moon, Venus, Aries like me, Gemini, Jupiter. It don't matter what your sign is. You're going to be aspected by this completely in your own unique way. But for the collective, this highlights critical social changes in terms of how that collective is thinking. All of these isms and schisms in society get addressed. And Jupiter and Gemini addresses the perspective on social constructs. That's one of the main things we'll see that gets challenged. Because Jupiter and Gemini, it causes the people in local communities to expand on how they think. Gemini is mutable air. Jupiter governs two mutable signs, right? Pisces and Gemini. And we'll get to that shortly. Now, this also highlights abundant ideas. And it also addresses things in the social sphere. Right, some of the statistics, technology, we mentioned cars, automobiles, all of these things. This deals with mental acuity and how people think. Make sure y'all pick up a copy of Astrosthetics, baby. Now, remember, a Gemini, this is ultimately how we think and process information. But Jupiter and Gemini, this is in the area of our localities. Gemini also deals with the early childhood education process. And it can also deal with the fundamentals of logic and rationality. It Gemini can also deal with airy, me airy mechanisms. This is about mental acuity. And this is going to cause us to expand on this in social matters. And you also going to see a lot of expansion in the area of education. Now, Jupiter is the planet of abundance, expansion, freedom, traveling, long distance travel jupiter though it's in detriment in gemini so there comes the lines of social gossip 
right? The chatty Sexual patty talk. Aesthetic. Because this is dealing with an expansion on the airy mechanics. People gonna have a lot to say, but also intellectual ideas and expansion. But this can also cause social chatter. While this can cause the transmission of intellectual ideas. So this could even be small community groups migrating from one place to another. This can highlight, once again, media, gossipy stuff, right? Potential social shifts in how people are thinking and communicating. That's people are going to be more logic-based. Y'all got to know this. Now, new expansion and communication get rolled out, transportation, traveling, expansive interaction among social classes as well. And y'all, once again, this is 100% out of actual aesthetics. Please make sure y'all like, share, and comment on the video. I know this is epic, lit, legendary, okay? I appreciate y'all. Now, Jupiter, once again, this is the jovial, bright one. This can also highlight international financial dealings cultural transmissions, leaps in communications, innovations with engines, right? Helicopters, planes to a degree, but engines. And also, it, this transit definitely, what I need y'all to pay attention to, purposeful communication. No pointless talking. If you're having a conversation, make sure it's creating something. And people definitely will, will be more rationally based. We're going to expand socially because people are going to be big on thinking properly. So this can create massive conversation around things that are critical to society's values. Remember, we mentioned the isms and the schisms. All right. And once again, small social groups of people going to be migrating and moving and arranging their group dynamics. But it's this highlights, y'all, please avoid the chatty patty talk. This could create massive social firestorms that just can muddy up the thought process. But we could also get discoveries in mathematics, positive changes in algorithms, right? Positive changes in algorithms. And a lot of things in the social construct will get expanded upon once again. And once, look, this is big, rectifying information. Because look, astrostatic shows us that Gemini deals with data. Gemini is all about data transmission and it can also deal with speaking to the values of your loved ones and your emotions. So we can share potentially valuable information and come to critical breakthroughs and understanding the people that we communicate with on a day-to-day. -day. But that's why you got to avoid that firestorm. And we also going to go soon into how each song can benefit the most from this transit. But I need y'all to like, share, and comment the video. Now, let's get into some more planets. Because Jupiter is going to be there with Venus and the sun as well. And we know that they're around the largest body in the solar system. So all of these planets, they're going to rotate faster. And Jupiter is going to go into Gemini with a lot of power because of it's this. That's now, Jupiter, y'all, yeah, is in detriment in Gemini. Venus is also going to go into Gemini a few moments after y'all get this video. Y'all got to let me edit it. But after this, Venus is going directly into Gemini. And this allows us to create conversation around our values and relationship even more than we mentioned before. And it also can highlight fluctuation in our investments. And Jupiter strengthens Venus as it goes in there because it gets a dose of positivity from the jovial bright guy. And this can cause opens and dialogue and great social exchange with our partners. The Venusian one, Venus, in Gemini emphasizes diversifying your portfolio, adding some air to your investments and how you establish values. And remember, this is getting boosted because Jupiter and Venus are going to be in Gemini together. But Venus and Gemini, where it's at, it can also deal with arms agreements as well. And this can highlight international financial agreements and shadowy transactions, all right? But some of that, not right now, in a few weeks, because it can also deal with international financial dealings and the movement of money. And we also going to have Mercury and Taurus around there. 
and Mercury and Gemini shortly after. And this can affect our perspective on stability steady. and time. Now, this will benefit what we said about purpose before. Establishing purpose with time and maximizing conversation. And this is us look, looking out for things like hidden subscriptions. Hidden things that take away from your stability. You don't even notice it, but it adds up over time. Subtle investments and stuff like that that we don't notice. Things that take away on a subtle level. That's also the transit can highlight that. And it highlights upcoming conversations around the socioeconomic aspect. We got Donald Trump, that's a Gemini, Biden's a Scorpio, right? But this is already interesting because once again, this is a leap. We just had Kendrick and Drake. Kendrick Lamar is a Gemini sun, Pisces moon. Donald Trump is a Gemini sun, Sag moon. Drake and Joe Biden are both Scorpios. Although Drake is born close to the Libra, whereas Joe Biden and the future have the same birthday, so they're deep Scorpios. Well, this is significant because Hillary Clinton is a Scorpio as well. So Donald Trump been navigating against the Scorpio energy for the past few years, if we been for real, for real. But look, y'all, Joe Biden also has Uranus and Saturn in Gemini. So this is also a futuristic time for him. Uranus, the planet of electricity. We could look at Mercury and Uranus as similar, but Uranus represents electricity in the collective dynamic. And Uranus and Gemini, well, America has Uranus and Gemini, which means that America is going to have its Uranus return. And we see Joe Biden dealing with his electric initiative. And that's Uranus, because Uranus can cause the shock waves. Uranus is the glitch, so America and Joe Biden both have Uranus and Gemini. These vibes is important for the social aspect, because, yeah, this is an election year. And we can see it's massive actual, changes steady. in society. And the Aquarian energy is strong. But Gemini as well begins the conversation for shifts in the social dynamic, y'all. Now, out of all the signs, Pisces, Gemini, Taurus, and Aquarius, they may experience this transit in the most beneficial way. Geminis can take significant leaps forward. We're going to get into this more. The Geminis born toward the, the middle of it, they're going to feel this. The Gem Geminis born towards the ending. And some of them going to start working with people older than them that have more experience and pisces them too they can have massive shifts in their family dynamic and their internal world as well pisces gonna have a lit time with this transit but out of all of them venus and pisces and even if you got jupiter and pisces y'all gonna be lit during this transit as well y'all got a power time but for the tauruses as we mentioned them steady. This highlights them doing the most exploration. The Tauruses, y'all, they going to be going through some amazing transformation in the spiritual sense. And they going to be expanding their, their horizons in a private world. Because another factor there is also Neptune. Now, look, we also hear a lot of people trying to remix astrostatics, fake astrologers regurgitating a book and not trying to give us credit. But what we say is this. Uranus and Neptune count but for the collective. Astral for the expanding world, we'll add here to Uranus and Neptune. And in that case, Neptune is leaving Pisces, y'all. Neptune been in its home sign for 12 years, and it's finishing its 12-year cycle. But now Jupiter is beginning its 12-year cycle in Gemini, all right? While Neptune is beginning a new cycle in Aries. And this can invent our sense of ourselves, our dreaming mechanic. Now, look, this is a great time, too, for the Aquariuses to convert data into wisdom. Studying opportunities for them will open. If you're Aquarius out there and you're thinking about going to school, if you having any interest in pursuing higher education or learning something very broad, this is a great time for the Aquarians out there. The, and look, yeah, I'm doing this type quick, okay? I'm giving y'all some sauce. The can stars, y'all gonna benefit beautifully, but y'all gotta keep y'all business to y'all selves. Y'all can have a lot of opportunities coming from y'all being more quiet because y'all gonna need to accommodate some resources. So if you a can star, I would say private business. And Geminis have massive leaps in growth and character development. 
This opens up for abundant opportunities for Geminis with asserting themselves. This is going to challenge Geminis to take bold leaps forward and make jumps in their initiatives. But listen, the Gemini transit, this does not welcome purposeless conversation at all. All right. This requires that the conversation that y'all have, y'all have to extract value from it. Now, for the Leos, y'all have shifts in y'all career and public representation and expansion and growth in y'all social public networks. The Leos, y'all going to be meeting some new friends and networking opportunities as well. And most importantly, positive idealization about the future. And this is going to be y'all innovating yourselves. So y'all shouldn't be thinking about for now. But for opportunities that will arrive shortly after from the initiative that y'all taken now from associates, great positive interaction for the Leos. Now for the Virgos, this is going to benefit Virgos once again, definitely in y'all career, but y'all got to have data commodified. For the Virgos in the it's career, it's going to be y'all long-term plan of yourselves in relationship to y'all careers. But y'all have to be organized. Y'all cannot do anything off the cuff. Y'all have to have a defined idea of everything that y'all are aiming to do. And this causes y'all to evolve with the definition that y'all need. Virgos have a, any need to define things. So this transit will promote them be free-flowing and critical at the same time. But this promotes spontaneity because the Virgos got to take action. This can cause career growth and cause y'all to push forward with how y'all define y'all careers and y'all idea of it, especially if you are younger Virgo. Now the Libras, this is a creative transit for y'all. Creative endeavors, love, the romantic assertion, everything on the creative side and the leos y'all got this vibe too but for the the libras y'all gonna be creating maybe new children new art new romantic ideas this is a beautiful transit for the libras in terms of romance and asserting themselves scorpios this is gonna cause a lot of psychological growth in all. Steady. all right and this can be in the area of things like sex relationship with y'all children and also finances and what y'all value in other people this can cause y'all relationship with others to grow and this can also even lead to y'all mastering saving money and resources and this can highlight scorpio's interest in economics and banking and allow y'all to master um opportunities from previous financial uh, from previous financial occurrences Working with groups, right? Working with groups, opportunities can also come from Essential working with steady. other people's interests, but definitely Scorpio is going to be saving a lot of money. Now for the Sagittarius, exchanging ideas with others, y'all going to be doing the most game changing out of all the signs. For the Sagittarius, this is going to deal with y'all making new initiatives and in styling and perception. This can cause the perspective that people have of y'all to change. So if you were Sagittarius rising out of all the signs, Sag and Gemini, y'all should be avoiding pointless chatter the most. Because this can cause completely new relationships. Y'all are going to really understand the value of the people, as even partners, everything outside of y'all's sphere perception. The Libra, the, the, the Sagittarius, y'all going to be expanding on it, I promise. Now, for the Capricorns, this benefits y'all with y'all quick thinking skills and with critical matters in the area of health and routine and scheduling. This transit does not work without a schedule for the Capricorns. And it also highlights y'all tapping in with your health and nutrition and your diet for sure now the capricorns please make a schedule right now if you're watching this video okay and we understand y'all adjusting to new diet new health initiatives y'all working out probably getting y'all look out of all the signs the capricorns probably getting their summer body out right okay 
this just emphasizes y'all taking care steady. of yourself on critical core matters, right? Now, we spoke about the Aquarians at the beginning of this. The Aquarians, y'all have beautiful, beautiful initiatives going forward in the area of children for sure. In the area of children with the Aquarians and especially learning what the Aquarians are learning, it, their children will benefit from their knowledge. So with the Aquarians, remember we mentioned turning data into wisdom. Out of all of the signs, the Aquariuses, they're going to be doing steady. the most with what they're learning. And they may be doing a lot of traveling and even maybe some spiritual trips and a lot of growing and tapping in with their inner sage for real, for real. And Pisces, everybody's favorite sign, right? Pisces, this, this is going to benefit Pisces in work and career, right? So if you're a Pisces and it's, if, 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 if you're making enormous strides with the career, this is going to benefit your public representation and persona, but y'all going to have to work a lot. This transit rewards Pisces in the career through hard work, but in the area of the home, this transit beautifully blesses Pisces. This transit beautifully blesses Pisces, especially Pisces born in, in the beginning of Pisces season and toward like the beginning of March, right? So if you were Pisces, you were going, you born in the beginning of March and maybe at like the very ending of March, this Jupiter and Gemini, it's gonna benefit y'all, right? But understand, we also have Saturn and Pisces as well, okay? So we could see in about six, seven months, this would be maybe a, a Jupiter Saturn square. And this can adjust that dichotomy between the home and the family for Pisces. But this would be in about six to seven steady. months, okay? And that's why y'all want to make sure y'all got Astro Aesthetics because I just wanted to do something nice. So make sure y'all pick up a copy of Astro Aesthetics, the Aesthetics of Astrology, 500 page book. It's a beautiful read, the best astrology book. And it also, it's, it's 500 pages. You can use it as a fan, all right? You can use it as a fan on a day. And make sure y'all pick it up right now, okay? Yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure y'all like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what y'all think. And I hope y'all enjoy this, all right? Yeah, peace.